Well, now in its second year, the Here and Now Festival is a four-day takeover of Auckland's ASB Waterfront Theatre, featuring some of the most exciting emerging theatre talent in New Zealand. We have some of that talent in studio with us right now. Writer Billy Staples and actor Murdoch Keen are here to tell us all about it. Yes. Welcome, yes. Thank you. Yeah. welcome, welcome. Um, Murdoch, let's start with you. So the idea behind Here and Now is to connect young people to professional theatre, is that right? Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of like, here's this enormous theatre space and how how uh, you as young theatre makers, um, the makers of, if you think about it, all of the future amazing productions, um, how are you going to fill that space and what are you going to do and what are you going to say? Wow. And the festival started last year mm. under Here and Now. What made you decide to join? Um, I actually wrote, co-wrote for Next Big Thing, which this festival comes out of, and Murdoch was in that show in 2016. Nice. So it's kind of been like a little bit of a long affiliated relationship with that company, mm. but pretty much see, having that space, as Murdoch said, for young people to use mm. and showcase our work is massive. It's There's a, nothing else like that, really. So. It's an incredible theatre too, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so Murdoch, the first show in this year's Here and Now is Tender, yes. and it's one that you act in. Tell mm. us a bit about that. So Tender is all about um, love and where the kind of the questions we're asking are like, what, what really is that to us? What does that mean to us as young people? Because I feel like quite often we're kind of told a lot and then kind of figuring it out can be, we get kind of distorted <laughs> things like with true love and like love on first sight and also um, like uh, love online and kind of there's so many things and it can be hard to figure out. So this is kind of us figuring it out, but on the stage. No, it sounds like a great idea too. So, and the director you've got, tell us about the director. Mm. So uh, Ben Henson is the director and he's also working with um, Anna Scottney. They're both directing it together. So they're both um, <coughs> relatively young, fresh, practitioners which I think is really great um, that young actors work with kind of young directors because mm. it feels like we're kind of on the same wavelength a which lot of great. the time. Mm, we're yeah. sharing worlds. And Anna Scottney, yeah. she's directing, having directed this. She, mm. uh, she's in The Breaker Uppers. Yes. Which uh, she's got quite a big role in it, hasn't she? She told you about her time on set there? Well, Anna's very professional when she's <laughs> in the room to work on Tender. She's working on Tender. Um, it would be amazing if she was kind of, this reminds me of my time on set. <laughs> that, time the was, uppers. that time I was James Rollison's <laughs> ex-girlfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, she's, very with, she's with us and she's working on our thing, which is... <laughs> Really cool. Yeah. Okay, Billy, next up as you first, and this is the one you wrote, yes. isn't it? So tell us about it because it sounds great. Um, it's set in a near distant future, imagined future, where there has been a massive storm that has like leveled out here, and all the like human, uh, man, and nature at war. So all the parents and the adults are above the ground fighting with nature. All the teenagers and children have been rounded up and put underground to be kept safe. But the new world order that has taken over. The premise is that they have to complete a dare in order to go home. If they don't complete the dare, then they disappear. What inspires you to come up with these ideas? Like, how did you get there? <laughs> um, this show is really inspired by what I wanted to see on stage. Like, right. I really wanted to see something that was like high action, go, 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 really intense for the actors mm. as well as the audience where an audience doesn't laugh all the time, where they feel uncomfortable, where they're shocked, where, yeah, we're seeing things that could happen if we continue to live the way. You know, I can actually see that as a, I can already see it as like a movie as well. Do you it's have like a, a designs for that as well? It's big scale, like there's 13 yeah. characters. Um, the show has high production value because it's just massive, but it's definitely something that, yeah, I could see as a mini series or a TV, like movie, TV. And mm -hmm. your mum is directing this? Yes, she is. And what's the like working with mum on set. Um, it's great. It's yeah, it is really good. Who's she, the boss? <laughs> <laughs> the we writer. We work really well. I mean, like growing up in theatre and seeing so many shows together, we do have a similar taste in things, which wow. is really helpful. And it's like that synchronicity when you work with someone that you know so well. Mm. But it is also really intense. Like she knows what she wants. And, and I know what I want, so, you know, we just... Well, there could be a that. play in that further down does the line. Does she put out the mum card at any stage and say, I'm your mother? <laughs> no, <laughs> really, I know no we try to, like, call each other by first names and, yeah, yeah. except when, yeah, she's and all cute and cuddly. Yeah. You've, got, <laughs> you've got a third work, too, in this as well. Oh, uh, no, that's not my work. That's actually Alice's a devised... Yes, Alice's oh, the third, third show. Work. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. 
I think it's kind of a, like a reimagining of Alice in Wonderland, but more contemporized. I know it's taken um, some influences from Twin Peaks. I think it's quite, Yay, it's quite cool. ethereal mm. and strange. All of the um, the setup in the theater is really amazing. We've got the kind of tender set at the front, and then that all slides away, and then there's the you first yeah. set, and then it all moves away, and then there's finally the Alice set, which is revealed at the back. So it's kind of like a Russian yeah. doll in yeah. the theatre that things get revealed. So I think it'd be really cool to see all three shows yeah, over definitely. the evening and definitely. see that happen. Yeah. Well, you know, just listening to you two, it's funny how we say emerging talent because you sound like you are very skilled at what you do <laughs> and, uh, you know, deserve to be where you are. So ultimately, what do you want to get out of this career? And I'll start with you, Murdoch. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to do everything that I can do. Like, I love acting. Um, I like writing like Billy does. I like um, making. So I think, and this is an amazing community, an amazing industry, and I think that lots of, well, like what Billy said about making the work that you want to see on the stage. So I think that that's kind of my ultimate aspiration. And what, what about you? Billy, quickly. Um, I just said the other day that I want to be like, my name wants to be like Tim Winton or Philip Pullman or something like that. Like, I just want to write and I love writing poetry, so I just want to write and produce. Excellent. Oh, oh wow. So Sounds good. Great. Thank you both for stopping by and awesome. telling us all about it. Yeah. Uh, the Here and Now Festival runs from next Friday, the 20th of April until the 24th. You can check out the Auckland Theatre website for further details. Yes, go and see the future of New Zealand talent.